Hey my friends, Jeff Yeldon here with a quick video on social media and how it affects our mental health. Next time you log on to your favorite social media platform, think about the ways that your brain is processing the seemingly endless stream of information that your brain is taking it in. So number one, social media is addictive. No kidding, right? Studies show that 63% of Americans log on to Facebook daily and 40% log on multiple times each day. People use the site for many reasons. However, it usually serves and on some level the same basic purposes, distraction and boredom relief. Likes and comments are positive reinforcement for posting information, making it difficult for a person to stop. Number two. Social media makes us compare our lives with other people's lives. Posts on social media many times present an idealized version of what is happening, what something looks like, or how things are going. Well, this can lead users to constantly compare themselves to others and think less of their own lives. If things are going particularly well for people in your newsfeed and you're having a rough day, of course, this will likely negatively affect your mood. Number three, social media makes us restless. Out of the same example of what I just shared, two thirds of the people in a study admitted to having difficulty relaxing when unable to use their social media accounts. Makes sense. Number four, social media gives a big rise to cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is a huge concern, especially for young people. 95% of teenagers who use social media have witnessed cyberbullying, and they say 33% have been victims themselves. I think it's probably more than that. And number five, social media glamorizes drug and alcohol abuse. A study that explored the relationship between teenagers, social media, and drug use found that 70% of teenagers ages 12 to 17 use social media and that those who interact with it on a daily basis are five times more likely to use tobacco and three times more likely to use alcohol and twice as likely to use marijuana. Number six, social media can make us unhappy. A study out of the University of Michigan collected data about Facebook users and how it correlated with their moods. Simply put, they found that the more avid users were overall more unhappy than those who used the site less. Number seven, social media can lead to a fear of missing out, aka FOMA, fear of missing out. <laughs> Fear of missing out is a phenomenon that occurs when you feel pressure to be doing what everyone else is doing. Attend every event, share every life experience. It can evoke anxiety and cause social media users to question why everyone is having fun without them. Surveys have even found that people feel insecure after using Pinterest because they feel that they aren't crafty or creative enough. Facebook and Twitter can make people feel like they aren't successful or smart enough. And number eight, social media often leads to multitasking. How many tabs do you have open right now on your computer? How are you even concentrating on one thing? The thing is you're probably not, especially if one of those tabs is a social media site. Research has shown that our brains don't have the capacity to fully focus our attention on two things at once. And instead, multitasking causes our brain to quickly switch from one task to another. This hinders information processing and productivity.